Cody, and today I'm going to show you how to add a non-Steam game to Steam. This can work for Uplay, Origin, basically all you need for this is a .exe. And for an example, I'm going to be showing you Uplay, like how to add a game from Uplay. And the game that I have from Uplay is The Crew. So essentially what this will do, it will add it to your library. Uh, to where you can categorize it and you can have all your games and stuff organized into one application so you don't have to switch between them which is pretty cool and that's what I do so anyway what you're gonna need is a .exe file so if we're doing Uplay you're gonna want to find your Uplay oh, find your Uplay installation so I have mine on a separate drive, yours may be different, if you don't know where to find this, go and google it, I'm sure something will come up, then, so basically I'm going to go, then we've got the crew.exe right here, okay, so we're going to remember this, so this file path right here, we're going to need that, so switch back on over to Steam, then on the bottom here that says add a game, click, add it on Steam game, and then you get this screen here. So if it's already on here, which it might be, mine is not, then you can go ahead and click on the check mark and then do add selected program. But mine, or the crew, is not. So what you're gonna do is click browse. A window will come up. Now, uh, go to that same uh, location where the .exe is. And there it is. Do open, it'll be right here and then do add select program. And if we go down and look here, the crew is right here. But the drawbacks of this is you won't be able to, like friends won't be able to, you know, right click on you and see, uh, like join your game in the crew or anything like that. It doesn't have integration for that kind of thing. It doesn't have integration for achievements. All that stuff stays within Uplay. This is essentially a shortcut. But another thing is if you want uh, your friends on Steam to know, like that you're playing uh, whatever game it will actually tell them on there that you're playing like non steam game the crew now also something you might notice is the name here is just the crew like all one word but actually there's obviously supposed to be a space between the and the crew so what you can do is right click properties then right here just change the name to whatever you want to call it you can even change the icon and I wouldn't mess with any of this stuff because it can potentially mess up how the game launches. But if the icon doesn't show up correctly, you can set your own icon or whatever. But yes, yeah, so this will work for Origin. You just essentially you just need the path to the executable file. So like if I go into Origin, I've got Mirror's Edge here. So you could go, uh, it just find something like a uh, game name.exe whatever. So you could add this, or even if you have a standalone game that's like just by itself you need uh, a separate third party launcher you can go and find that so for instance i've got open arena here all you need to do is find open and it works so anyway it's really simple and it can also help you organize your games and stuff and access them more easily anyway so that's about it for this video thanks for watching and before i go though i'd like to make a mention of my associated website finaleffectstudios.com we do some pretty awesome gaming content gaming tech and security content i do mainly tech and security and some gaming but other people on there other members of it such as epic lego mocks and flying over gaming they do various gaming stuff epic lego mocks makes some pretty legit replicas of Le lego guns uh, like made out of Legos, so they're not like rainbow builds or anything, if you know what I mean. They're like actually legit. So, anyway, the link should be on the screen to both their channels as well as FinalFactStudios.com. Thanks for watching, this has been Codius, and I'll see you in another video.